So, welcome all. Uh, thank you, Rika and Karen, for letting me guest in here on Artist Live channel. And today we are playing with Hip Kids, which is a scrapbook kit club, but I will tell you more in one minute. So, thank you for coming and thank you for letting me come. So, let's start. I will change the camera right there. Da -da 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 -da. I love this technique. Uh, so, Karen, I didn't have any shows in December or January. <laughs> so that's why. Anyway, so here are my January hip kits. Uh, hip kit club is a scrapbook kit club. Um, Reika will add you to link, or add, actually she added the link. Uh, you will have one main kit each month if you order the hip kits and you get nice new products every month to your doorstep. So I'm going to get a quick, <laughs> um, getting quickly through of all these kits uh, and then I'm going to do a layout. And I thought to show you that Every single month, I have this cardstock kit, which has, um, I think there was eight cardstock inside, matching perfectly to this month's colors. As you see, there is really bright uh, pink, uh, but I think I'm going today with this white one. Surprise, surprise. Uh, then, we have this paper kit, including only paper, uh, patterned paper to match with the main kit. Actually, these are the same papers you have in your main kit, uh, but usually people want to have them in two pieces because these are double-sided, so you can use both sides. And then we have these Project Life kits. Uh, planet uh, designed uh, mostly for project like uh, scrapbookers or pocket scrapbookers. Sorry, this voice, uh, but actually, I will use these uh, stickers today. We have some alphabets, numbers, more nice, great paper, uh, my mind's eye uh, stickers. I'm also going to use them, maybe. Some Project Life cards. Sometimes we have exclusively for Hip Kit Club designed uh, Project Life cards or papers or something. So you will receive some products which you are not receiving from anywhere else. Uh, is this a subscription? Yes, yes. Um, if I remember right, and I do remember right, of course, <laughs> it's, uh, you need to uh, make a subscription for like uh, three months, and then you can uh, choose each month which kits or uh, how long you will order them. But if you're an international, um, like I am, you can choose to have them only be monthly, having two kids in one mailbox because it's much cheaper that way. But everything is there in HipKit Club website, so so you can you can read it uh, there. But yes, it's a subscription. Yes, uh, right here we have embellishment kit. And we have something, ooh, acrylic plugs or something like that. Going to use today some bags from Crate Paper, stickers from Crate Paper, and some yummy titles. Let me take one. These are so thin. Dream. Oh my god, these are so cute. I'm sorry if I repeat, oh god, this is so cute, but these are so cute and nice, and I can't wait to use them all. 
uh, that was the embellishment kit and then we are having the main kit which comes every single month of course if you're a pocket scrapper you can choose only the project life kit now yeah yes it looks like it comes with a lot of stuff yes i have a lot of stuff here actually this tape was in pel and pillars um it does doesn't yes <laughs> and i usually do like at least 10 layouts from each kit of course i have then a lot of a lot, a lot uh, leftover stickers and stuff because i don't want to use all the stickers <laughs> in one layout. Uh, here are some wrap-ons, um, brats. I haven't seen brats for a while. Uh, some wood veneer stickers, then some Hello Love from Crate Paper. These are all new. This is nice. Let me think if I'm going to use some of this. I put it here. This is very usual for me. When I open the kits, I'm uh, like watching, oh, I'm going to use that first and that first, and then I might do like uh, four piles of <laughs> things um, I'm going to use because I'm uh, usually doing with, by color. So this is really pink kit. So I'm doing at least two pink layouts, but sometimes we have a lot of colors. So I can like choose one green layout, one blue, blah, 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 but it's nice. So here we have a lot of papers. This is nice. I think this is nice too. This is basic gray, um, kind of old school, <laughs> but it looks so good. And that's uh, new, new from basic gray. This is nice too. This has some pink hearts in the other side, so I think I'm going to use that as well. EXO, 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 definitely going to use today. Some gold arrows. There is also pink in the other side. Uh, again, something gold. My man's eye. And red. Oh, bold red. Definitely going to use but not today. So, as you see, lots of nice things. And the last kit. This is something I've been waiting for. This is the color kit, which is nice for us who loves mixed media. Uh, let me see if there is any questions. Na, 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 na. Yeah, I know, if you have all those kits every month, you will have so much stuff you don't need to buy anything for at least a long time uh, but uh, of course when i'm in design team i get all those kits and i will do a lot of example um, work and project for hip, hip kit club but when i was a customer before i ordered this main kit and the color kit and some add-ons not usually the cardstock kit or paper kit because I managed to do with this, these papers from the main kit. Anyway, back to this color kit. We have nice exclusive stencil from Hippie Club. This is designed by Kim Watson, who's, uh, who is our design team coordinator and designs a lot of stuff for us. She's also in fancy pants. Uh, designer team if I remember right anyway she's a wonderful person and and I really love her work and her <laughs> designs in stencils and project life cards and papers so I'm going to use this stencil then we have Shimmerous Dazzlers uh, pe texture paste actually to be uh, very specific. This is smooth shimmering dimensional paste. This is kind of uh, texture paste. I will show you. This is really smooth, but it's not that thick as some of texture pastes. So I will definitely use this. This is something I really love uh, when 
ordering any kits because you have um, you can try new things with the kits. You will receive some some like like this paint. I think I will never buy this <laughs> if this wouldn't be in this kit because uh, I design for 13 arts and I get paints and pastes from there. So it's really nice to I'm looking forward to use that. And then let me see the chat again. Yes, you can purchase in the video. Oh, blah. I can't speak anymore. <laughs> but Rika just um, wrote correctly. So, uh, this is Heidi Swap uh, texture paste. This is golden, and I can't wait to use this as well. So, let me take my white cardstock and design my first layout with the kit. As said, these are my papers I'm going to use, but of course, as I'm using white cardstock, we have to design the uh, background first. So, where is my photograph? Hello, little photograph, where did you go? Okay, I will find it later, maybe. Hopefully. Never mind. It was a small one anyway. So, uh, there was this wrap on somewhere here. Do you see the whole paper? So, I'm going to use some of these. And I'm thinking about where is that photograph? Just a minute, please. I want to find it so I can show you. Ah. Okay, maybe we are changing the photograph. Anyway, so let's pretend this was the photograph I had before. Um, I'm thinking about the love theme, of course, because we have such a um, so much pink here. And I'm thinking about because these photographs, this have uh, this face on the left side and the empty space on the right side. So I'm kind of repeating it. <laughs> Rika just sent me a message about the uh, photograph I had. Anyway, I'm using this now. Thank you, Rika. So uh, this. Um, face side is going to be in the left side of the paper and the empty side here on the right side. Uh, this is not any special rule for scrapbooking, but I think it looks good when you have this face over here and empty here and then it kind of repeats itself to the paper. So I can make a little reminder for me where to put this photograph by adding some random circles. This was a pencil. Actually, this was my daughter's pencil, this girl's pencil. So, thank you, Maya, for letting me loan it. Uh, I'm cutting these wrap ons off here because it's easier to play with them. Like this, and then I'm going to add some here and there. This had this little plastic on the other side, so. This is how we do it. And then, just random places and dropping it on. I think the whole camera will move when I'm shaking <laughs> the whole table. Never mind. Okay, great. That was good. Another one here. Like this. I really love the wrap on thing because they give such a nice and easy way to add. Just like stamps to the background, but of course not just like stamps. 
and you can add any wet media on on these scrapbooks, which is nice for my kind of mixed media scrapbooker. Actually, we are not going to use a lot of uh, mixed media today, but never mind. It's nice to do this way as well. Maybe four to somewhere. Here, here, no, there. That's good. I'm using only the black ones because I'm not sure how much of the green paper I chose I'm going to use. That's why I'm not adding any red wrap-ons to this layout right now. So that was the wrap-ons. Let me see. Is there something going on on the chat? I see we have a lot of viewers and that's a good thing. So now with the stencil. Oh my god, this is so cool. If I ruin this layout, it doesn't matter. I will cover it all with gesso or something. Now the big question is with which one to start with? The golden one or the pink pink one? I actually think I'm going to use the gold one look first because it's lighter color and easier to <laughs> remove if needed. So some people use washi tape to <laughs> tape the stencil down, but not me. You can see it's really shiny. I think I'm going to take my little palette here and add it there because I'm used to do it this way. Blop. It's like ketchup. I'm hungry. Okay. No more things about food here. Adding a little. This black one needs to be covered. And oh, this is really gold. Really, really gold. So some here and there. Like this. Good. Oh, you can see the heart. I don't know if this uh, tries transparent, but we'll see. Again, I repeat myself. This is so nice to get these products which are not the most familiar for you. Because you can try new things, and it's always nice to try new things. Alright. Some there. Yeah. Ooh. This is so cool. That's the way it's supposed to be. So, I have some it left now on the palette, but let's see if I use it later. Right now I'm cleaning the, 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 the stencil. I try not to add this paste to my table, so thanks to baby wipes it can be uh, clean it up like this. Of course I'm giving it a water bed after the show, but Right now that I want to use this stencil again in a minute, I, I want to clean it this way. So, it's new again. Um, if you are uh, afraid to mess up with the uh, stencil work you did just a minute ago, you can use a heat gun to set it. But now I don't want to do that. That's boring. Let's do it with the exciting way. So some pink here. Again, a little over the black wrap-ons. Let's see. This is just about the same smooth as the Hades Swap paste was. Maybe a little thicker. But I wouldn't say a lot bigger. So, adding this here. Oh, this is 
this look like raw berry or something so delicious okay i want few of the hearts here so i'm keeping the stencil a little off the page because i don't want to mess it up so there it is and right now i think we could use a heat gun but nah let's live wildly so yes everything is from the, the kit that stencil as well that's uh, this stencil was from color kit from Hi hip kit club and it was exclusively uh, designed for hip kit club so you can't have this hard stencil from anywhere else at least right now so i let the background stay there actually i'm putting it to dry over there and now hey, hey i found the picture how nice <laughs> this, this is what happens uh, what? anyway so now i'm really really thinking about which photo to use what do you think you can decide Please write, write to the chat which one to use. Both daughters or one daughter? Let's see who you pick. In the meantime, hi Shashia. I'm, 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 I'm cutting the papers. Uh, this was from, from, from crate paper. Yes, Karen, it was, uh, it was cold. I can show you again. We have such a bad light here, but as you see with the light, it's gold. And from my eye, it really looks gold and this pink looks really pink, but I'm sorry about this light. We have so much darkness here in Finland. So, 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 right one, which was right. Right, so one daughter. One daughter for Rika. Great. But she has two. So I'm uh, cutting some paper slices. No measures. Measures are boring. We don't need any, any of them. And more scraps. More scraps. Okay, more scraps. Yeah, I know. <laughs> this kit is really, really, really good for Valentine's. And I actually thought to do some cards with the kit. Because it has a lot of uh, sentiments. Like love and... Uh, even here, in this uh, crepe paper... Uh, chipboard stickers there are lots of like exo 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 and hearts and and something like that so it really goes perfectly with valentine's pictures or even wedding pictures or something like that but i'm so long married that i don't have any wedding pictures to scrap Genesis Crow, she loves to um, use non-traditional things on holidays. I know, it's nice. It's nice to like um, scrap your Christmas pictures without red and green and regular, regular um, Christmas things. But, you know... Traditional is good in a way, and non-traditional is also good. So I'm making a little paper cluster by adding these papers in a pile. Pile of paper, is that the right word, maybe? Uh, I'm not minding about the pattern, how the pattern goes, or how much is visible for each 
pattern but I just look at the colors how well they are together or isn't well together so let's see sometimes I add so much paper it's so thick that my stapler isn't big enough for that but not today today we are playing simple layout okay Rika is talking about something oral oral B is she brushing her teeth of course it's night she should be brushing her teeth so some slices here oh this is such a nice combo of color this kind of um, deep green together with pink is nice I'm sorry if these colors don't uh, you can't see them correctly but I will photograph the layout first thing tomorrow when we have daylight that's about noon or something <laughs> so not so early but anyway I assume you pick this picture actually I don't care about if you choose the other picture I'm using this one so as you see it goes perfectly here but now I'm seeing it needs something gold and it needs something more pink between the layers because our background is so pink and gold so I'm picking this uh, great paper tags which were in the emplacement kit oh exo exo yes that will do the trick I will add it it here somewhere some way but I'm not sure how let's see it could be there Okay, we need to do this cluster now that I can um, add the embellishments. Let's see if there was some pink things. My darling, together, be mine always. Okay, we got it. So, right now we need double-sided tape. Actually, this tape, this washi tape, was in the embellishment kit and I just found out how to use it I took a little strip of the washi tape and I'm making a little banner maybe banner is the right for word for it but like this and then where's my scissors I'm cutting some off like this now I got my pink and gold perfectly for the paper layers of course we need another one as well okay that was it good so I recommend you to use scissors with this washi tape if you want to add it uh, between the layers like this and folding it like that I'm putting this part of here between the layers so it actually looks it should be there again scissors make the trick da -da 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 -da. yeah like that hello Anski Oh, I need those stickers! <laughs> I know, you need everything for this, from this kit. And I did as well. So, now we need the thread. Where is our thread? Here is our thread. This is simple white thread. A very thin one. And I'm adding it before adding the paper layers to get some texture and some... Uh, soft things on the background the texture paste is almost dry already so 
that's nice to know it dries very quickly and I'm adding some double-sided tape this is like super huge tape but it sticks so good that I love to use it like this but I know there are lots and uh, lots of easier ways to uh, glue or use tape but this tape is so good really so good I don't know if you get that from uh, other where Europe or US or somewhere but it's good so you need to come to Finland and buy it okay do you see this no I'm hiding and it's there I love how many colors I have in this layout this is so unusual so we are adding our second paper and I'm using double-sided tape for this because I want to have some dimension and I'm using the blah 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 again slowly very slowly I'm leaving a little edge here between the paper edge and the tape because I want to make sure that if I want to add something later it's possible Okay, now I'm speaking in Finnish again. Putting the dress away. And this goes here. Maybe this goes there. Is it too much? No. This is so, so usual for me to talk alone. Rika knows it knows it because she does it too uh, this tag has some little thing oh I thought this was tape but it's the golden part how dumb am, am I okay watch and learn don't do as I do do as I say haha -ha. so here it goes right here Ta-da! And then we have our picture here. It's good to have this little tax or something to have a little letters here and there. Because if I don't want to use any title on the layout, I don't need to. It has some text already. But usually when when like my relatives, like my mother or or sister looks my layouts. They they always look the title first, the photograph next, and then the journaling, with which is usually uh, on the background of the layout. Okay, this might be pink. Oopsie, doesn't matter. Baby, why? So when when my relatives looks my my scrapbook layouts, it doesn't matter what I do. It's just if there is nice picture, it's good. So everything else is for me. Okay, now more embellishments. I'm thinking about the washi tape because I have two little washi tape stripes here. But I want to have a third one because, you know, you always need the third one, right? So I'm making a third one third one how do you say so I'm folding it on my hands this probably isn't that smooth as the other ones but it doesn't matter little wrinkles are good yeah okay someone is talking about french fries can you order them for me here I'm still hungry Okay, now I can put this between the layers so it looks better. Add in some glue like that. Now someone is asking there, why do you always make so many layers and covering else up? Well, that's me. Now 
I want to use these lovely stickers and things we have in the kit. So you can never have too much gold in your layout, right? Especially if the one in your picture is five year old girl. So these were from my mind's eye. This little butterfly. This is quite, quite thick butterfly. Let's take these little parts away. Like that. And then uh, I have this gold paste here. Gold paste here. So I'm adding it there. Peeking from the picture, behind the picture. That was that. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then, um, there are, oh, these were nice. It's nice to open things because it feels like Christmas all over again. We have, do you see it? Now you see it. Um, so, we have a lot of things here I can add. True love, maybe that's for wife and husband, right? Actually, there is a sentiment, Happy Valentine's Day, which goes perfectly for Valentine's Day card, which I'm going to use someday, me and you. But I'm going to use these little, my darling, always let me see one more together or love 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 is all around us i'm not going to sing anymore so don't don't be afraid uh, now i see we have this little x and o's here again so I want to have them again in this layout. So I should use some tweezers. But I'm not. Yes, I am. No, there's no hole. So this goes here. And because I love the rule of thirds, we need to add one here too, because now we have three times this XO, XO, XO thing. And last but not least, who needs a snack now? Me. Are you really talking about French fries? Am I that boring? No, I'm not. Uh, I think I'm going to add this little, little heart between these. Because you know, it's nice to make a lot of layers. So you can do a lot of layers with embellishments. You don't always need to use paper or mixed media things. You can use embellishments, chipboard, stickers, washi tape, whatever you have to make some some kind of uh, embellishment clusters. By the way, this heart looks quite good. I think I'm going to add the oopsie. It doesn't have any glue anymore, so I'm adding some. Maybe here, no here. Okay, this might go behind the paper. Like this. Yeah. And if I remember right, I saw some some green dots. Yeah, here. Okay. Oops. Now my floor <laughs> has some here and there. This looks really nice. These are like some acrylic thing. 
I, if I remember right, these were also exclusive, which is nice. So I'm really using them somewhere. I had a huge flu just the other other day. I'm still healing, so my voice is going off right in a minute, but I'm trying to speak as long as I have my voice. So these found their places maybe here. It looks nice. So all I need to do now is um, glue this down and while I'm gluing I'm telling you that you can find all these products and uh, uh, kits from HipKit Lab website and if you want to ask anything and I mean anything about these kits please don't hesitate to ask me. Uh, you can find 